This is a Sobieshu in Yelena Gora, and we're about to go up there to that castle up there, which is called Hoynik, which is about the easiest hike we could find. So we've got the higher management school. It's not really higher, because no one needs higher, it's not a castle up there. I don't know why it's got a name like that for. There's a here. You should have position to go near. Tak. A nie wyobrażam sobie innego, innej przyczyny. Mogło być kosmitów tam, że tam lądowali. No mogli. Tako jeszcze. It was built by, I've forgotten his name, Bolko, I think it was Bolko the Stern, somebody the Stern. It was built as a defence against the Dukes of Bohemia. I think it was uh, Duke Wenceslas or King Wenceslas. He wasn't a good King Wenceslas, but he was seeking to extend his power. But Bolko made it up with him. And I think when Wenceslas' daughter got married, Bolko turned up with the booze up in Prague and <laughs> so we've got a rather deep well here there. It's all. Oh. Sondova. It's very impressive to put all the way up this hill to bring these stones at that age. <laughs> Prawie. Tam strzela, gdzie pani celuje. Nie to ja prowadzę. na lewo i do góry. Tam jest wejście. Woda. Woda wszędzie. That's the view to the north. So here. We have the view from the uh, castle at Hoynik and uh, this moment I'm looking in a westerly direction at the Karkonosha. We have here the, uh, the town of Piochowice, which uh, is no longer a town, it's now a suburb of Yelena Gora, as is just about everything that can be seen uh, from, from here, although as can be seen quite clearly, they're outlying settlements rather than the city. 
down the bottom there we have uh, Sobyeshov. In the distance we have the hills. And as I turn around here, you can see how uh, Yelena Gora is in a, in a valley, uh, or depression really, completely surrounded by hills. So we've got the city over there. Uh, I'll bring it a bit closer now. And uh, see the, the skyscrapers, or not really, the box of flats. Uh, in total, there's a population of Yelena Gora of around 85,000 people. But as can be seen, it's many settlements, and also to the north as well. Uh, so it stretches out a very long way. We've got these uh, uh, fish ponds, and that's a reservoir. Now I'll bring the camera around here, the best view of the lot. A lot of midges here hanging around. Uh, there's Snezhka, which is the highest mountain in the Czech Republic, it's the highest mountain in the Karkonosha, and uh, it's not the highest mountain in Poland though, because in the Tatra there's mountains. In fact, there's one mountain, but it's in Slovakia, it's a thousand meters higher. It's 1,600 and something meters. And the highest mountain in Poland is 2,399. It's much higher. And coming we've got more of the wonderful views of the Karkonosha range. All this back to where I started out from. And uh, not the first hill, but the second hill. I'm very pleased to say I managed to uh, get over that on my bicycle uh, the other day. So, quite outstanding views. It's now about uh, 17.45, and today is the 17th of July 2011. Tak to jest tak wysoko, ja nie wiem, czy ja nie wiem, jest to są te fragmenty tego podyskiego chyba nad wejściem, co mówi na końcu, co czułaczy, co czułaczy, co nie? że to jest ten gotycki, a fragmenty tej zabudowy gotyckiej, prawda? So I found the treasure of the castle down there. Oh, not the treasure of the house, everybody's coming up. So there's a very nice fairy tale that comes from here, from Hoynik. And it's that the, the owner of the castle had this uh, daughter, and she was certainly a bit of all right. And uh, all the all the local lads uh, fancied uh, seeing that she was all right, and um, but uh, she wasn't interested in any of them. In fact, what she said was that if anybody wanted to to be with her, then they had to run round here on horseback, do a complete tour. Now, as can be seen, it's quite difficult, and uh, there, nobody actually succeeded, and they all sort of fell down there. Uh, to the deaths, and anyway, one day, one really good-looking nobleman turned up. He looked just the same as I do, so you can imagine how good-looking he was. And uh, she suddenly said uh, she fell in love with him, and she said, no, he doesn't have to do it. But he said, no, he must do it. He must uh, do the same thing. Anyway, so he gets on his horse, runs round here, he does the journey completely, and, uh, oh, it's great, now they can get married. But uh, she says... Oh, my prince and all the rest of it and now I'll arrange the wedding I don't know what else and he says no uh, he said uh, he sort of condemns her and he leaves her because he said she was so cruel that she made the others fall off these cliffs with the horses and she never sees him again isn't that a nice story so when the good-looking nobleman left the princess she threw herself off and landed in the rocks and that's apparently where she landed. So that'll teach her.
Hmm. Or maybe she fell here when she came out the, this tower. Who knows? Or maybe several few women threw themselves down here. Stoi. And this is what happens when you take the black route down. <laughs> well, we took the shortcut, which was the hardest route possible, thinking it was going to be quite easy. But as can be seen, it's pretty difficult. And now we've got to go up again. <laughs> 